right outer join. So far, we have learned about an inner join and a left outer join. There's a join similar to the left outer join, and it's called the right outer join. A left outer join shows all records on the left table. The right outer join shows all records on the right table, and a null for the record in the left table if it does not exist. It's the opposite of a left outer join. And in the diagram here, it shows all records in the orange section. How do we know which table is the left table and which one is the right? It's the join on condition. On table one dot column equals table two dot column. Left is the first table mentioned and right is the second table mentioned. You can swap them around and get the right join effect using the left keyword if you like. Let's see some examples of this. Earlier, we saw this query that showed us departments and employees with a left join. We can write the same query using a right outer join. We just need to change the left to a right, then change the two tables here. So we want the left table to be the employee and the right table to be the department. We also need to change the order of our tables. So let's remove the department here and put in employee E. And then put the department back after the right join. So the left side of the join is employee and the right side is department. Now let's run our query. If you scroll to the bottom, you should see the maintenance department here, which has no employees, just like our previous query. What if we wanted to see employees with no departments? To do that, our left table would have to be department, and our right table would have to be employee. So we're selecting from the department table and right joining that to the employee table. So the right table, which is employee, is the one that has all its records shown, and the left table will have nulls if there's data missing. So let's run the query. It still shows our departments and employees, but if we scroll right to the bottom, we can see there are some null records here in the department columns. And there are employee records here because they exist but don't have any departments. So that's how you use a right join or a right outer join. It's very similar to a left join. Now, I hardly use right joins as they can be replicated as a left join and changing the columns in the join here. If I need to use an outer join, I use left joins throughout the query to keep it consistent. It also makes it easier to read and debug. Next, we'll look at a full outer join.